Retailers urgently call on more help to change the tide on a crime wave. Mika Faiteri opens up while continuing to dodge the Prime Minister's calls. And is it time to officially open the debate on New Zealand becoming a republic? At Maria, I'm Shuri Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Retailers are once again bolstering security as a surge in crime refuses to let up. Michael Hill Jewelers is bringing in security guards to man all 34 of its North Island stores to fend off brazen daylight burglars. Its stores have been subject to three smash and grab incidents in the past week. Retail New Zealand Chief Executive Greg Harford says police are doing their best with their resources, but the situation is dire. There are a number of retail businesses that now have security guards on the door. Uh, there's a number that are considering that and other options to improve security. The Prime Minister's expressed further disappointment in Mecca Whaiteri, this time on behalf of the people of Gisborne, as the former Labour Party minister is interviewed for the first time. She quit Labour last week, moving to Te Pati Māori, remaining in Parliament as an independent MP until the election. She's since dodged phone calls from the Prime Minister over her decision, which blindsided him and other colleagues. The move means she's given up her responsibilities as one of the ministers in charge of the cyclone recovery. Chris Hipkins says he's disappointed as she had the ability to effect change in this area. An Auckland school linked to measles says most students will be able to return today. Te Fato Order says there are no new cases at Albany Senior High and the student and household contact who tested positive last week are no longer infectious. About 50 students and staff will work from home awaiting immunity test results. Principal Claire Amos says all students should be back by next week. She says it's a matter of ensuring people are vaccinated or deemed immune. There's fresh calls for a referendum on whether New Zealand should become a republic. King Charles III was officially crowned over the weekend, becoming New Zealand's head of state. The Prime Minister has told UK media he believes New Zealand will eventually become a republic, but that it would raise constitutional questions. Republic New Zealand Executive member Peter Hamilton says the King doesn't represent our multicultural, secular country. Now if New Zealand has decided, yes, we want to keep the status quo, that is a democratic decision. If they decided that they wanted to change it and have a republic, that's a democratic decision. And the Secondary Teachers Union has received a new collective agreement offer but says it falls below the cost of living increase. The post-primary teachers union national executive is seeking feedback from members this week before deciding on next steps this weekend. Acting President Chris Abercrombie says they need an agreement with real improvements to pay and conditions, but that isn't addressed in this offer. Secondary teachers are holding rolling strikes this week, starting in the South Island today. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more stories and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co.nz. Kia pai tera. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.